I want to touch base on a concept focused on reliability, specifically using the Spearman Brown prophecy formula. And that allows us to estimate the reliability of a composite measure. Now, let's remember that reliability is about consistency. It's the degree to which a measure repeatedly produces the same results, free from error. When we speak about composite reliability, we're investigating the reliability of a combination of items or measures, like a questionnaire or a test, and this is made up of multiple questions or tasks. Now, the Spearman Brown prophecy formula is an invaluable tool in such situations. This formula shines, especially when we're contemplating whether to lengthen or shorten a test. It helps us predict how such changes could impact our test reliability. And here, the formula is rho sub k is equal to k times rho sub x divided by the sum of 1 and k minus 1 multiplied by rho sub x. And here, rho sub k represents the estimated reliability of our composite or our test, which comprises k items. Rho sub x denotes the reliability coefficient of a single item right here. And k is the total number of items in the composite. Now let's walk through an example to make this more concrete. Assume rho sub x is 0.5, which means that each item in our composite is only 50% reliable. Not perfect, but not entirely random either. And let's say we have five such items. When we plug these values into our formula, we arrive at a composite reliability of 0 0.833. Even though each individual item was only 50% reliable, our composite measure has a reliability of 83.3%. This means by combining imperfect measures can result in a more reliable overall measure. And this is a key insight when designing tests or surveys. And I wanna apply this formula to some practice problems. Let's look at how to calculate the composite reliability for rho sub x is equal to 0.3 and k equals four items. Using our formula, the composite reliability comes out to be approximately 0 0.6316. Six. Although each individual item is only 30% reliable, when we combine four such items, we get a more reliable measure, which is about 63.16%. Now let's calculate the reliability for rho sub x equals 0 0.6 and k equals eight items. This gives us a composite reliability of around 0 0.9231. So despite each individual item having a reliability of 60%, by combining eight of them, we're able to achieve a composite reliability of over 92%. Again, the strength of the combined measures is what's most apparent here. Our third problem involves a little bit of a twist. We're asked if rho sub x equals 0 0.4, how many items would we need to reach a composite reliability of 0 0.8. This means we're starting with items that are 40% reliable. And we want to know how many we actually need to combine to achieve 80% reliability. When we rearrange our formula to solve for k, which is the new unknown, we find that we would need about six items to reach a composite reliability of 0 0.8. Lastly, in this problem, if we have a 10 item test, where k equals 10, and we know the composite reliability is 0.85, what is the reliability coefficient of a single item denoted as rho sub x? Well, this problem is a little more complex. So we're going to need to solve for rho sub x in the Spearman-Brown formula. First, we need to understand the formula. We're dealing with the Spearman-Brown formula that's given by rho sub k is equal to k times rho sub x divided by the quantity of 1 plus k minus 1 multiplied by rho sub x. Here, rho sub k is the estimated reliability of the composite rho sub x, which is the reliability coefficient of a single item, and k is the number 
number of items in the composite. In our problem, row sub k is 0.85 and k is 10. So we need to solve for that row sub x. So step two, we're going to multiply both sides by the denominator. That's going to turn into 0.85 times the sum of one and the product of nine and row sub x, which is ultimately going to give us 10 times rho sub x. When we expand, we're going to get 0.85 plus the product of 7.65 and rho sub x, which is equal to 10 times rho sub x. When we rearrange and isolate rho, we're going to get 0.85 is equal to 2.35 times rho sub x. Finally, we divide by 2.35, which is rho sub x is approximately 0 0.3617. So what does this mean? It means that the reliability coefficient of a single item in this 10 item test is approximately 36.17%. Now that might seem low for a single item, but when combined into a 10 item test, these individual reliability coefficients result in a composite reliability of 0.85. It's an interesting insight into how individual item reliability and the number of items work together to shape the overall composite reliability. By understanding how to manipulate the Spearman-Brown formula, you'll be well equipped to analyze the reliability of various tests and measures in real-world situations.